This month, it's hard to miss the color pink and all of the people wearing it to increase awareness about breast cancer and to raise money to fight it. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan says Syracuse police officers are digging into their own wallets to get more pink on the beat. For almost 10 years, Lieutenant James Milana and Sergeant Colin Hillman have been brothers in blue. But now for the third year, they're also brothers in pink. They're the same badge that we wear every day. They just dip them into pink paint. For a $40 donation, each officer gets to break protocol for two months. A pink badge instead of the normal one in October for breast cancer awareness and no shave November or blue nail polish the month after for prostate cancer awareness. Obviously it affects people not only in the department but in the communities um, and it gives us an opportunity to, to connect with them on a different level other, uh, other than just being a police officer. The more than $20,000 raised the past three years is the point but there's another benefit too. You're used to seeing a silver badge or a gold badge on city police officers so uh, a bright pink badge walking towards you on the street, it just kind of catches people's eye. A lot of people come up to us and they ask us questions about the pink badge. It's a great conversation starter. It's a great uh, positive bridge between us and the public. At a time when police officers need all the help they can get improving their relationship with the people they protect. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Now the officers haven't decided what charity will benefit from their donations this year. That's why they call them Syracuse's finest job. Absolutely. But last year, the more than $7,000 raised went to Page's Butterfly Run, and the year before that, more than $10,000 was split among three local charities. 